All right, guys, I'm back again. As you can see, I'm working on my wife's car again. I'm going to show you what I got going on today. That's right. Magnaflow converters today. It's supposed to be a direct fit. So I want to show you guys what it looked like. What they look like. we go and they're supposed to be a direct fit these are three inches of course for the people that ain't been seeing my channel you know I, I work on multiple stuff but my main goal is cars and I've been looking online for converters and every time I find some converters at $500 uh, a little more probably a single one is like three hundred dollars just for the same one and i actually found this deal I actually found this deal from magnaflow for their converters uh i paid four hundred dollars for them as you see they give you a big warning sign And that right there is, I guess, a warranty card of the installation by the dealer. So, I've been noticing when she cranks the car up, it uh, smoke out the passenger side tailpipe. And I think her check engine light came on. So, it smoke out that tailpipe. Out that tailpipe. But it never did smoke out of that one right there. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you guys know me so far, I don't like to take my car to the dealership because they overcharge people for a little simple fix. But as they say, there's supposed to be a direct bolt on. I'm going to pull one on out and let you see what it looks like. And these things are three inches, so you know they're pretty big. They got the O2 sensors. I got two of them. I don't know if there's two of them on the bottom of my stock catalog converter, so I'm going to have to check that out. And they say they're for off-road use only. Anybody that knows me doing these videos, when I buy stuff for her car, I try to get it brand new and high performance. Um, I don't know if you guys can see the honeycomb in there. But they're in there. I don't see any difference from a regular honeycomb. And I see some beads in there from where they welded. There we go. You see those beads in there? I don't like that shit. But I'll try to get them out before I uh, install it. Uh, looks pretty clean in there, though. It looks really clean in there. Alright. I'm going to let you guys look at the other end. And like I said, these are three inches, so pretty fat. Pretty fat. Done a good welding job, but like I said, I'm not too happy about them bees. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get up under here and I'm going to spray PB Blaster. I'm going to spray this PB Blaster on these bolts. Let them soak a little bit. I'm going to show you what I'm going to spray them at, okay? I'm going to spray them right there because they're just clamps to hold it on. And I see 102 sensor. Uh, let's get up in here a little more. And I see these bolts right here I'm going to spray too. So let them sit for a little while. But I'm going to let you guys see the exhaust. As you can see, I've had the back done. I had the back of the exhaust done. I'm going to let you see that. And uh, right there, as you can see, I got the floor masters. I had them done three inch floor masters. Uh, as you can see, I got all the resonators cut off of here. Uh, sounds pretty good. Sounds real good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna spray these clumps and let them sit. And I 
me see. Oh, there go the other O2 sensors. So yes, it's got a two O2 sensors. You guys can see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna spray them and uh, try to see if I can take them off. And when I take them off, I'm gonna let you guys see what I'm working with. What's the difference between the stock ones, the, the stock ones, and the um, Magnaflows. So I'm doing the inbred here of Floor Masters, Flow Masters, and uh, Magnaflows. So you guys. Tune into the channel. I might have to make another video because I'm doing it on my phone. I gotta get a GoPro camera soon. So um, subscribe if I cut the video off. It will be a post video after and a rolling video to let you hear the sound or whatnot. Okay, guys, I got one side off, and man, this thing was a pain. So you see, I had to cut it. As soon as I cut it off, right there, it was good. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I can show y'all guys this side in the converter. Okay, you see that? It's good, right? So let's go to this side. You see how my converter dropped all the way down? You see the ring where it's supposed to be, and it's all the way down in there. You see that? So this converter was completely gone. And that's why I was smoking on the passenger side, as I said earlier. So what I'm going to do now is throw this. I'm going to take my O2 sensors out. I'm supposed to change the O2 sensors out, I guess, installing a new Magnaflow exhaust. But I don't want to because I didn't buy it and I don't want to go to the store. But I am going to. Emma, that thing gave me hell, guys. So trust me, I cut that part off. And it just drops straight on out. And they go to the other pipe right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this Magnaflow in. And hopefully we can get something started. I actually had to, actually took the wheel off. I actually took the wheel off trying to get it out. But I took the wheel off and it helped me cut it. So I cut it. But now what I'm going to do is go ahead and... uh. Get it installed.